Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and I was a couple minutes late because I was having a sneezing fit. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. So y'all hop on in and let's make something really cute. If you're watching replay, just do hashtag replay so I know you were here. Um, thank you for hopping on and watching my video. There's my friends hopping on. Hello, hello. Hey Luann, my friend Luann. Hello, sweet friend. Hello everybody. Hey, Daniela and Susie and Sandy. Yay, I'm so glad y'all are here. And I didn't close the door and you can hear the compressor going. Hold on, let me close this door real quick. I'll be right back. Hang on. So loud. All right. That's the air compressor that runs my lasers, so it's loud. Hey, Jody. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Tammy. Hello, everybody. And Deb. Yes, Terry, the cruise is getting closer. And I brought my little, I brought one of my little tags out here to show y'all I'm going to put on my little ducks. So, while we're waiting for everybody to hop on, I am, Judy, I'm going Saturday is when I'm leaving. Uh, Norma, I'm not packed yet. I'm getting close, but I'm not all the way packed. Friday, Gail, it's Thursday. <laughs> um, I'm getting there, Judy. I'm getting there. I'm going to get my spray tan tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm going to get my toes done. Hey, Gail. Yay. Okay, so on a cruise ship, from what I've been told uh, in my subscription group, some people told me that it's a thing to hide little ducks, little rubber ducks on a cruise ship and put a little tag and all the good things. So, <clears throat> um... I ordered my ducks. The ducks will be here tomorrow. And um, I got this. I made this little tag. So y'all can see it. It says, you're in luck. You found a duck. Keep or hide. You decide. Snap a pic and post on. It's a, there's a Facebook group called Carnival Cruising Ducks Group. And I put duck hidden by the turquoise valentine. I would love for you to check out my page on Facebook. So, yes, yeah, so there's my little tag for my ducks, and I'll be showing y'all while I'm gone. I'll be taking pictures and stuff. Um, can you go with me? Sure, come on! Um, but that's my little tag. that I'll, It's going to go on my little ducks. So, I'm going to put them all over the cruise ship. I got, I bought 120. Now, I don't know if I'm going to take them all. It depends on if they all fit in my suitcase. <laughs> with everything else that I'm taking, because, you know, I, I don't like packing. I pack way too much stuff. Um, I pack stuff that I never even take out of the suitcase. Do y'all do that too? Because I'm like, well, what if I don't feel like wearing that that day? Or I'm just, I don't know. I don't like packing. Dollar Tree has what they call dazzle ducks with glitter on them. Oh, I haven't seen those, but I ordered a bunch from Amazon. Some of them are little ones and some of them are like this, you know, they're a little bit bigger. So I ordered two sizes. Um, so I'm going to... Get the boys to help me tie all these tags home tomorrow night. Um, yay, just got home. Your sister retired today. How exciting, Jackie. Oh, yes. Okay, so everybody's in the house. We're going to craft something cute, I hope. I just put a printable in the reveal group and that I'm going to be using, so you can use it too. Um, yes, Bonnie, we're taking our boys, and I mean, they're teenagers, so they can go and do their own thing on the boat, and so it's going to be... So, um, so much fun. And Chase has never been on one, so he's excited. Yes, going out of New Orleans, Linda. Yes, out of NOLA. Okay, so these are like um, two surfaces that I bought at Michael's a while back. They have them in the wood aisle, and it's like this pack. And I was going to try to remember how much these were, but it was two like sign surfaces. And it was really inexpensive for like $8 or something. And you get two in a pack. And they have different sizes and different, um, oh, my garbage is full back here. Um, they have different sizes and different colors. And I picked these up maybe a couple of months ago because I knew that I would use them for something. So I'm going to use one. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I'll probably use this one. one. They look a little different. They're just like white distressed. And this one has got like a little off-white color to them because I'm going to go over it with some paint anyway. Oh, yay! Last day of radiation. Awesome, Janelle. Awesome. Hey, Judy. Hey, Linda. 
So I'm gonna be putting something on this. And this is the printable that I'm gonna use and it is in the reveal group. I just posted it maybe 10 minutes ago. Hey, Teresa. So it's a little watering can and I printed mine onto tissue paper. And to do that, you need to figure out how to load your paper in your printer. Mine goes face down. And I cut my tissue paper a little smaller than my paper. And then I use scotch tape and I tape both ends. And then I put it in my printer and then it prints right on top of the, um, uh, on the tissue paper. So this will be, um, this is in the group. If, Cause if you wanna do what I'm gonna do, uh, you can print off and you can use it however you want to. Hey, Brenda. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda, it's got a hook on the back and it has this, so I don't know exactly how they expect you to hang something on that when these things kinda stick out, I don't know. So it's got this little hanger um, from Michaels, coming in a two pack. Um, oh, Charlie's already got the watering can, yay! Yay, Stacy! Hope you have lots of fun on your trip. Yeah, thank you, Melinda. I will. I'll have a blast. Okay, but I'll still be in touch with y'all. I'll still be posted on the page and taking pictures and showing y'all things while I'm on the cruise. And if I can go live, I'll probably go live. It all just depends on the connection, which I have I have signed up for internet and all that stuff. So, um, I hopefully can show y'all some stuff while I'm gone. So, this is kind of white, really white for me. So I am going to tone it down just a little bit with some plaster. I'm not going to paint the whole entire thing. I'm probably just going to go over the high parts a little bit. Hey, Rochelle from snowy Iowa. Whew, y'all, it's raining here. It's real um, rainy and dreary and all that kind of nastiness um, for us. So it's kind of cool but I'm ready for it to be summer, and I'm going to, Joy, they're from Michael's. They come in a two-pack, so, but you can use any surface you want to. I just have these, and I was like, I need to use them, um, because I was straightening some stuff up the other day, and I thought, well, I just need to go ahead and use these boards, but it's really white, and I'm just kind of going to go over it with some plaster to kind of age it a little bit, you saw the print before I came live? Yes, I had just put it on there. Yes, and Elise, I love the tissue paper technique because I'm going to show you. We're going to be able to put that watering can on here, and you're not even going to be able to tell that it was on tissue paper. So I really like that technique, but I've already printed on mine, um, and I've already tried what I'm going to do to it today once, so I'll show you all that in a minute. So I was trying to test out what I want to do to it because I didn't know if it would work. And I had to do a my little experiment. Oh, Brenda got her washcloth to make her bunnies. Y'all, all my little bunny people are all back there. <laughs> my, looks like a little puppet show going on behind me, doesn't it? <laughs> I just love those little bunnies. And I do plan on making the boy one like the rug. I do plan on that. I just, time has just gotten away from me and I'm trying to run around and get everything ready for a a cruise, um, so I have a, uh, a lady that's coming to house it with my dogs and all that stuff, because, you know, I can't leave my babies all by themselves for a week, so she's coming to stay, and I'm having to get everything ready for that. Um, sunny all day in 87, nice! Well, it's cool here, it's like in the 50s here, it's kind of cool. Okay, so I just kind of went over it. I know y'all probably can't tell, but it was really, really white. And then I just went over it with a little plaster to kind of age it up a little bit. Kathy, I don't see why you couldn't. I, I mean, I've seen, I think that you can do any kind of tissue paper, I would think. Um, yeah, absolutely. Go for it and try it and see. Yeah, Dad, I gotta make some bunnies. I, I love the bunnies, y'all. And everybody's making them and I keep seeing them and I'm like, oh my gosh. Hey, Ashley. Oh, I'm freezing? Uh-oh. Maybe come go out and come back in. Finding the rug. Hey, Marsha. I'm doing good. How are you? Hey, Ann. So, y'all having trouble finding the rug? I haven't looked in a while because I wasn't looking for one, but... 
Oh, you made them out of the baby blankets too. That's awesome. Lori, I leave Saturday morning early and it's a five hour drive to New Orleans and then we'll get on the ship. Hey Rose, we're making a sign with this printable that I put in the group. And just draw, I painted over this board. It's just the surface from Michael's. Teresa's raining here too. <laughs> The bunnies really multiply, <laughs> and that's easy to do. If you've made them, you'll know. You'll be like, oh my gosh, I can't make this one bunny. I gotta make two or three or ten or. <laughs> hey, Karen. All right, I'm just drying that really good because I gotta get my um, my watering can on here. So you can, if you want to size this differently in your printer, you can. Um, I just did it to fit this board. This board is 10 by 10. I know somebody's going to ask. Uh-oh, everybody says I'm frozen. My hair looks different. Well, I had a hat on Monday. It's probably because I washed it. <laughs> um, I'm not a wash your hair every day girl. Yeah, this is 10 by 10. So, I know somebody's going to ask. Because that's 10 by 10. Um, you can use this on whatever surface you want to. Oh, you tell them about me. Thank you, Debbie. You're so sweet. Oh, take no, Judy. I'll stay with the rain. I don't need any snow. But I'm going where it's warm, so um, I'm all good. So I'm leaving it on the paper, and it's on the tissue paper, and I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to cut as close to it as I can get. If I don't get, you know, I'm going to leave a little edge around it, but I'm uh, going to cut out my little watering can. And it's on the tissue paper. I love this technique of doing it on the tissue paper. I think it's awesome. Because then you can just put it right on your surface and you can't even tell that it's on tissue paper. Okay, good, I'm not frozen there. I hope I'm not. It's Maybe it's everybody's internet says the weather's kind of crazy everywhere. Because it's raining pretty good here, I can hear it. Surprised y'all can't hear it. Yeah, I've been had on my hat the other day, and um, so yeah, I, I just washed it not just a little bit ago. Just a little bit ago, I got out of the shower and blow dry it and all the things um, because I don't wash my hair every day because my hair is super dry. All right, let's go this way. Okay. So I'm gonna take my, so there's the paper. You have a little shape if you need it. Um, the first thing I was gonna do with this, my idea was I was gonna do this out of a cookie sheet, a Dollar Tree cookie sheet, and make my little watering can rusty. And I toss that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You can certainly do that and it will be cute as a bug. I, um, I didn't, I just chose not to do it. Cause I wanted to try what I'm gonna do. Okay, good. Darlene, we're going to, um, and I'm gonna cut out the inside of that. We're going to the Caribbean. So we're going to Cozumel and Costa Maya are the two ports that we will be going to. So I'm super, super excited. And now I'm just trying to carefully cut out the middle of this where the handle is. Y'all know this stuff is super thin, so it's hard to hold on to it and cut at the same time. Because it kind of just moves and does its own thing. So I'm having to hold my mouth right so I can cut it right. Not cut nothing off. Okay. Let's see if I need to do anything. Hey, Tina! One to two feet in Idaho. Oh my goodness gosh. Oh my goodness gosh. Well, I will think about all of you, I promise, while I am in this warm and sunny weather in the Caribbean. I am so excited. I'm ready to have me a pina colada or something and sit in the sun and let the sun hit my face and be warm. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, floral napkin, that would be really pretty. Okay, so here is my tissue paper 
watering can. Okay, so ooh, so it's gonna go on here. So it, when I get done with it, it's gonna look like it was actually printed on the board. Yes, Jill, Cozumel is beautiful. Um, we like to go to a place in Cozumel called Mr. Sancho's, and it's like a all day resort type thing. And you pay like one price and you get to eat and drink and do all the things that are there. It's really nice. No, Colin and Paige are not going. Um, they went to Disney and they used their vacation time. And so they're not going with us. Um, oh, darling, you getting ready to make the bunnies? Hey, Diane. Okay, so here's my little watering can. Where's my Mod Podge? So I'm going to put some Mod Podge down so I can... Um, put this on my surface. I'm just trying to, I think I'm gonna make me some little marks so I'll know exactly where to put it down. Okay. But I'm gonna end up probably going back over it and sealing it. Okay, so I'll put a little mark there and a little mark there so I'll know where to try to get it back down the way it's supposed to go. Okay. I'm excited too. We haven't been on a cruise since I went Christmas of 19 was the last one that we went on. And of course y'all know COVID happened right after that. So we haven't been on one since then. And I'm super excited because we love to cruise and it's just, it's a very relaxing vacation because you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to cook anything or go to the grocery store or go to a restaurant. Everything's right there. And it is just, it's the best for your money, in my opinion. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this down because you only really got one shot at this because it is tissue paper and it will tear. So I'm just, I didn't get it exactly where I wanted it, but it'll be okay. So now I'm just gonna smooth it out and it does have wrinkles in it, but I'm not too worried about that. Hey, Lori, we're going on a carnival. That's the only one I've ever been on. Um, and I love it. They're really good to their people. Um, we've, we've always had a good experience with them. So it's really easy to book with them. They're super helpful, super nice. Oh, Brenda, you didn't get a notification. And I did send out a text tonight. Let me get this up here. I didn't go high enough on this part. Okay, so I'm just kind of patting it down because, you know, it will tear. It's like a napkin. Mary, oh my goodness, it is wonderful, Mary. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If you want a nap, go take a nap. If you want to get on the deck and read a book, do that. If you want to people watch, um, you can. Now, one thing I found out today while I was doing this, and I did a practice one, um, was when you put your heat, your heat tool and you start trying to, um, I, I was gonna, I was drying it like I'm doing now, and some of these little wrinkles will smooth out on their own from the heat, I guess. Hey, Roxanne, we're making like this watering can thing. I'm gonna do something to it. Um, we're going to Cozumel and Costa Maya. But this is like super magical because this heat, some of the wrinkles just smooth out. I guess it reactivates that Mod Podge while it's drying and it smooths the wrinkles out. But I'm not really too worried about the wrinkles because I want to, you know, we want it to look all distressed kind of thing. Uh, Carla, you can get right on their website or you can call Carnival and they will walk step by step and, and do it for you. It's wonderful. Yes, it's the best, best money, I think. I mean, you get to see, I get to see two, my, my kids, our kids get to see two different places in another country. Uh, everything, food, entertainment, everything is paid for. And so it's wonderful. No, I didn't draw it, Donna. It's a printable that I made with my little program and it's in the group. If you want to go grab the printable, I printed it on um, tissue paper, <coughs> tissue paper. And then I just kind of dried it, but I am gonna, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna paint it first and then I'm gonna seal, seal back over it. 
Hey, Sue. Yeah, New Orleans is where I'm coming out of. Yes. I'm going to wrap that in a baby wipe because I'm going to use it again. No, you don't have to have a passport. You have to have your birth certificate. I mean, passports, yeah, they'll kind of help. But you don't have to have a passport. You can have your birth certificate. Um, oh, wow, Alaska. Yes, Donna, I heard that's a wonderful cruise. Okay, I'm just using this gray. I just picked a gray. It's charcoal um, by Anita's. It's just like this colored gray. And I'm, I'm using my little, this is like a little silicone. It's an ice tray, but I'm using it for paint. And I'm only going to use like a little drop of it because I'm going to put, here it is. <laughs> I'm going to put some water. Hey, Wanda. I'm going to put some water down in there and just kind of water it up. And we're going to use this paint like watercolor. Looks like the bunnies you have in the back. <laughs> oh, like that? No, I don't have to have a passport. I do have one, but I don't, you don't have to have it. You just have to have your birth certificate and like your ID. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm getting that gray and I watered it down. And you can do your watering can whatever color that you want. But I'm just kind of doing it. I want it to look kind of splotchy, kind of like metal. Hey, Sherry. Oh, no. Lots of people got sick on the one you were on. Well, I hope that doesn't happen to me. Um, I'm sure, you know, this is a lot of people on that boat, and I'm sure it gets passed around. Um, but I hope not. Just sanitize. Um, Tanya, I printed on um, the tissue paper because once I put it on this board, it looks like it was already just printed on the board. Um, you can do it on paper if you want to, but the tissue paper just kind of dissolves into the background and you really don't even know that it's, uh, on paper. I'm gonna run out of, run out of paint. I didn't put enough. Yeah, the watercolor, the water brushes at Dollar Tree, I have seen them and I have some actually. I don't know why I don't use them. So I'm just kind of going over my a little printable, but you can do it on paper. But I'll see how all the wrinkles, the ones that are still there, just kind of gives it that galvanized look. I just wanted it to look all. Melinda, it doesn't. I'm just kind of going on it really light. Um, that's why I kind of dried it really good. But I'm just brushing really light with the um, my brush with the water and paint on it. And then I'm going to go back in some of these little areas and I'm going to make a little, make it darker. Um, just to kind of shadow it out. And I do have watercolor. I just was going to do this because somebody out there may not have watercolor and you don't have to have it for this. You can just use acrylic paint and... Just water it down. And gray is kind of a weird color for watercolor. But, so, now I'm just kind of getting mostly paint. And I'm going to go around the sides and kind of make my little shadow areas where it should be darker. Let's see how that's looking. My little water in the pan. Well, say you need to get them back out. So I'm going to put a dark edge on this edge, on the bottom of this, where the light kind of doesn't get to it. You just imagine light shining, you know, where it wouldn't hit the can. So I think y'all are going to like this. I, I didn't do the whole project. All I did was paint it out my can so I could kind of see how the paper was going to react to the water and it was totally fine for me so so i'm just going to kind of brush that out and i think i mean um hey angela you're okay do you have to take the tissue paper to a yes i take the my tissue paper 
to a regular piece of copy paper at the top and be sure to seal it good and you have to figure out which way your um, printer feeds your paper. All right, so this is just a little bit of burnt umber and I got, I mean, y'all see how much is on there? Not very much. So I'm just gonna kinda hit some parts where it may be just a little bit rusty. Oh, let me get some water. So I'm just kind of, we're going to make it a little rusty. Because this is a well-loved, well-used little water can. Hey, Tammy. And y'all can do this, I promise. Don't say, don't say, oh, I can't paint. I can't. Yes, it's like a coloring book. Y'all can do this, I promise. Um, I have a laser jet printer. I believe it will, should work. I think other people have done it with a, um, inkjet. It should work. So, I do, mine's laser jet. So, um, all right. So, I'm just kind of just putting some brown just kind of where I think it would be a little rusty. So it just, it gives it a little depth and a little bit of character. Doesn't look just flat on the board. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there's my, see the brown? Y'all see that? How it just looks, it gives it a little bit of character. Hey Linda! So now I'm just gonna dry it good and then we're gonna seal over it. Okay, Annalise has done it with a laser jet and it is, it works. Yes, I tape it. Since your paper's gonna feed from the end, I tape my tissue paper across there. Across the end of, on both sides and I cut my tissue paper just a little smaller than my paper. thing to do, Lee. So I'm going to get it dry. Tammy's done it with ink jet. She said it works. Yay! I'm so thirsty. So I'm just getting it good and dry. I don't want to smear any of that when I go over with, um, I'm going to go over with Mod Podge just to seal it. Yeah, the, the burnt umber just kind of gives it that depth to it and kind of makes it look a little rusty and old. Uh-oh, you have an Epson Echo Tank and it doesn't work for you? Oh, no. Sorry. I wonder why. Okay. So, about got it dry. Okay. So I'm just gonna give it a quick little Mod Podge coat over the top. And I'm gonna put it over here and hope that it does not smear, which it shouldn't. I'm just not gonna go real heavy over it. I'm just going to basically enough to seal it in. And I'm gonna seal all of this so it looks, you know, it all looks cohesive and the same. That way our paper's not coming off and it's sealed into the board, basically. And I'm going really light, because you know, you gotta be careful, because it will tear. Somebody asked if it tears, but you know, you just gotta be careful. Go just real light-handed. We just want it sealed. I'm just gonna go ahead and might as well go ahead and do all this up here so it all looks the same. Like, bitch, y'all know what I'm gonna do to this. And see, it's shiny side down. I don't think my paper had two sides. This was Dollar Tree tissue paper, I think. And I didn't notice that it had two different sides. So, I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know. But maybe it is with some tissue paper. Okay, all right, so I got it sealed. 
Let's dry it really fast. Oh, y'all have a good idea of what I'm gonna do with this pan, I'm sure. Okay, Epson Eco, and I don't have any problems, and I print it on fabric too. Yes, I love to print on the fabric, and this would be beautiful on fabric. You could do this and make a pillow out of it. Oh, sh shiny side down, okay. Trying to see. Well, it does have shiny. Mine was shiny side up, so I don't know. But yeah, it does have two sides. A dull side and a shiny side. I didn't know that. You learn something every day. Yes, I'm going to put flowers in it. Best friend turns 102 and can't wait. Oh, wow, Minnie. 102? Wow. It's just COVID. Oh, no. All right, so I'm just drying my Mod Podge. Big daub of it right there. Hey, Ann. Acrylic material. This is just wood, and then I just did it on tissue paper. Kind of like the upside down umbrella from last year. Yes, Gwen, we made that umbrella. It was so cute. That's in my decor somewhere. Hey, Cindy. Okay. Get that good and dry. All right, so there's my watering can. All done with that. Super, super cute. There it is. So y'all guessed it. I'm going to put some flowers. So I showed y'all these the other day. Ooh, Monday, I guess it was. And there's, they look old and vintage. And I got them from the Dollar Tree. And that's, I'm going to put these in. Where's the cream colored ones? I lost them. Where are they? Here they are, way over here. Okay, so I've got, they just look old and kind of vintage. And I'm just gonna pull them off. And see, they got that on there, so I'm gonna have to take that off. Hey, Sherry, hey, Tammy. Thank y'all for hopping on. So all I'm gonna do is we're just gonna start putting some cutesy little flowers in our watering can. Maybe I just need to take a bunch of them off and kind of do this, do several of them at a time. What surface does it work on? I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Thank you. I will. I have fun. I hope you feel better. So I'm just going to well, miss the whole glue entirely on that. Maybe I ought to do this. Hey, Susie. Maybe I should put the glue on the flower. Piece of stuff stuck to that. And do it this way. All right. So, see, I'm just going to kind of um, glue strings everywhere. I'm going to kind of build, start there, and then I'm just going to build up from that. So, and I may, like, put a little bit of... Um, some leaves like these these leaves and I'm probably not going to use that whole entire leaf I'm gonna probably cut it down a little bit maybe all right let's do that oh what is this <laughs> stuff sticking to my glue gun oh yeah that makes a big difference Wax paper. Yeah, add some green. Yes. I'm going to cut that off there. We're going to put some green in it. Got to have some green. And, of course, I have my moss on standby over here in case I need the moss. Yeah, look how much difference that makes it look with the green. So cute. Um, It's going to turn out. I know. I love this. I think it's going to turn out so cute. And I have other flowers up here. I just really like move this, these, and I, I was wanting to do just these, but we'll see. Um, please watch when I'm cutting. I don't need a trip to the ER. No, I don't need a trip to the ER. I got too much else going on. <laughs> okay, so let's put one of these. So I'm just, you're having to cut off this little tip thing over here. 
these little flowers, they just look so vintage, I guess is the best word I can find for them. Um, but you can use whatever flowers you have. If you want to make you some paper flowers, you can definitely do that. You can definitely make the fabric flowers that I made last year. Yes, Vicki, they always have pretty flowers at uh, Michael's. To me, they do. All right, so see, that's what I've got so far. These glue strings are driving me insane. But look how pretty this is going to be. So I'm just going to kind of keep going this way with it. I'm going to be find, finding these little ends everywhere in my craft room, probably. Oh, this hair. I got a hair that's doing something weird up here. And I'm trying to get my colors together. Not too much together, but maybe I need... How about these? Look at these. Love these. And I just got these at Dollar Tree, so they... You might can find them. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a blue, but it's not like a, I don't know. It's a different kind of a color blue. Isn't that pretty? But I see I love the 3D effect of it. I just think it's really cool. I saw a sign like this um, somewhere, online, somewhere or something. And I thought, oh, what if I could do that and print out a, watering can on my own. I think it was actually done like with a Cricut and had the watering can done with the Cricut and I thought, well, I can make a printable. Sherry, yes, I'm, I'm still on my diet somewhat, um, but you know, I'm about to go on this cruise, so <laughs> I'm probably going to gain 10 pounds back, but I've lost, I've lost like 40 altogether. Robin, yes, I am going to the retreat, to Brooks Retreat, the business retreat in April. Yes, I will be there. I cannot wait. Okay, so let's put another one of these. So just get in, I know y'all got floral stash. Just get in your stash and find you some flowers that you like and just start building like what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. I'm just kind of going up and out with them. Do you see me on here? Catherine, I see you. Yes. Look. Hang on. Let me fix that one. Look how pretty. Look, they're so pretty. Wish you could lose. It's, I'm going to tell you, it's not easy to lose weight for sure. Especially when you get older, it's not. Um, it is a challenge. You're okay, Kathy. Welcome. Thank y'all. I've tried. It's just, you know, it's a process. Oh, Robin, you'll be there? Awesome. Yes. Well, I get to meet you. Yay. Let's see. Where am I? Uh, just going to kind of go over here. And I need to put some green in there. And I got moss, but I don't know if I'm going to put moss on it or not. Let's see. All right, let's find some more. Gotta find some more leaves off one of the stems that I have. There it is. Pulled off. It's gonna be so pretty, right? So I'm just cutting them off like that. And then I'm just kind of poking them and gluing them down in here. And this is such an easy craft, but it's going to be so cute. There we go. Let's see. What color do I need now? That's the hard part is deciding what color should go where. But you could definitely take this little pattern that I've given you, and you can definitely um, cut it out of the like a cookie sheet from Dollar Tree and, and make your own watering can and rusty it up. Look how stinking cute. So see, look how cute this is. Isn't that pretty? And so see, it's got like a little hanger. But I'm going to keep going a little bit more. I think it needs more. Isn't it adorable? Thank y'all. And the printable is in the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal Group. 
So if you want to go grab your watering can, you can go get you your printable and y'all can do whatever you choose with it. Oop. If you don't want to use, do it for this craft, you can do it for something else. Carol, no, the board is like a, it's a wood board from Michaels. I got like a two pack um, for like $7.99 or something. And I've gotten it a while back, but they have them on the wood aisle and it's like a pack that was together. Done this. Oh, with a, oh, would it be cute with a little a rabbit hiney sticking out? Oh, y'all, that would be so cute. With a little rabbit, a rabbit tushy sticking out of the of the flowers. That would be adorable. And I saw one at Dollar Tree the other day and I did not get it. But that would be the cutest little thing. But yeah, I think the green really, really helps it pop putting the little leaves in there. I think it just kind of makes it cohesive, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's the word of the night, cohesive. So I'm just, wherever I think it needs to be a flower, I'm just gluing it down. A couple of flowers on the bottom. Oh, yes, that would be cute. Let me do that, let me do that, let me do that. Let me do that. Like a little, like flowers down here at the bottom. Goodness, goodness, gosh, that's it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Look, I put one at the bottom. Look. Cute. And you could definitely, and I didn't even think about this, but you could put strings everywhere. Hello, spring, or welcome, spring, or bees and butterflies. Yes. Okay, so the bees and butterflies, I'm going to probably use my stamp. I have some stamps of the... Uh, bees and butterflies. I'll show them to you in a second. I know. I like the green, too. I think it's pretty. So I'm just building up my flowers here. And it's kind of, it's just hard to decide, like, okay, where do I need to put, what color needs to go where? I think I'm probably going to stop and I'm going to put some green in there. Um, so some of y'all didn't think I was going to be on tonight because I won't get to see y'all next week. Next week I'll be cruising unless I, you know, just spontaneously go live next week. Oh, a couple of flowers pouring out the spout. That would be cute. Feel a sneeze coming on, y'all. <coughs> I had a sneezing fit right before I came on. I was like, oh my gosh. <coughs> this time of the year is awful. <sniffs> Springtime for allergies. Okay. Yeah, I think the green really <sniffs> makes it. So, so cute. Yeah, somebody sent a cookie sheet. Yes, you could cut it out of a cookie sheet because like here was the outline I cut out from the paper, but you could do it out of a cookie sheet and just use this as like a template and you would be set. I mean, you could do it and rusty it up. Um, I've, I've done the galvanized technique before. You could definitely use that technique. <laughs> Thank y'all. So I'm just going to stick that leaf in there. I'm not happy about that one sticking out so much. So I think I'm going to shorten that one off. There. Let me see if I can get rid of my... Of all the glue strings. Goodness. Looks like spiders. Are living in my flowers. Okay. See, look how stinging pretty this is. What if I put, I think, another leaf? Maybe right there on this one. Oh, 
Oh gosh, y'all, my nose. But look, look how pretty that is. Sometimes it's all about the little details. Okay. So, I have these stamps. Let me hold it up against here so y'all can see it. From the Dollar Tree that I just love, love, love. Um, they're birds. And then I have... These are the bees and the butterflies and the dragonfly and all of that. Isn't it cute? So I'm thinking, I kind of like the butterfly. I haven't used him. Um, so I think I'm going to use him and I didn't grab my block. Okay. So see, he's just this little rubber. Um, I'm doing that half, this half butterfly right here. Like he's landed on the flowers. So I think I'm going to put him like right there. So if you see these in the Dollar Tree, y'all scoop them up. They're awesome stamps. Rubber stamps are, are, or clear stamps are very expensive. So when they're $1.25, Yes, they're going to come home with me. Okay, so y'all can see him. Enjoy the little thing. Oh, yeah, enjoy the little things. Yeah, I could use that on here. Okay, I'll figure it out in a minute. I'm going to try to... Well, Pooey, he didn't get all fixed in the middle, but hold on. I don't know why. I'm scared to redo it though. I'm scared. I don't know. I guess it's the board. But anyway, you can see my butterfly though. You can get the gist of him. He didn't transfer in the middle, but I don't know if it's like a divot in the board. But look how pretty. Look how pretty he is. Let me see if I can fix him. I might can fix him. The board must have like a little divot. The little clear acrylic things, um, you can get on Amazon. And I know they have them. And Michaels, these came from Michaels. I'm just taking a little fine point Sharpie and kind of drawing in. Some of the little lines that didn't transfer. Okay. Now he looks, he looks better. Okay. So you can kind of see in there. Look how pretty. Yeah, Joanne's has them. Yeah, maybe the montage, but it's like a little, I don't know if it's like a little divot in the wood. Woo. My leaf just blew away in the wind. I guess it glued down good enough. Okay. All right. So there he is. Isn't he pretty? So yeah, I could do. Um, hang on. Where are? So I have an extra one of these, and I am going. Oh, y'all! Did I just stick my elbow in that stamp pad? I did. Look. <laughs> It'll be all right. I am going to go scroll back a little ways and I'm going to gift this to someone. I think that was someone so's watching. Gail Winfield. Gail Winfield, if you will message me your address, I got to, I will send you the little stamps with the bugs and stuff. Let's see. Hold on. Gail Winfield. G. And I'll probably have to mail it tomorrow. Um, bugs. Okay. And then I also have this one. It's not the same one, but it is summer. And I'm going to go keep going backward. Carol Dickerson. That's canvas, correct? She said, I will send you the summer one. So if you will message me, I'll send you that one. I'll put out here summer. 
so I will know. I will get all kind of confused. I go back. Hold on. So yeah, now I've got ink on my. <laughs> Occupational hazard. I guess I will um, get some alcohol and get it out. <laughs> Set my elbow right down in it. It's a wonder it's not worse. All right, so let's. Do I need to paint the butterfly? Um. I think I'm gonna get alcohol and get it out. It's not bad though. See, it's just that one mark and then that one mark. The name on the Dollar Tree stamps. It just says clear stamps. Clear stamps, that's all it says. They're super, super cute. Super cute. Hairspray. Work for a few minutes and then wash it. Okay. So I'm trying to think if my butterfly, I think he needs a little bit of color. You have lots of clear stamps. There's sometimes you just need that little something to go in your project. And sometimes you just need a little, like this butterfly that just needed a little bit of Hold on. I don't have any paper towels over here either. I'm just kind of painting and blotting because it's I got way too much on here. But I just want him, you know, those yellow and black butterflies. I don't know if y'all ever see those. Just to give him a hint of color. Yeah, I think the hairspray has the alcohol, and that's what makes it work. The hazards are crafting. Yes, occupational hazard. Okay. Let's get him dry. So, see, he just has that subtle little bit of yellow, and that's what he needed. I'm not putting that there for That's my glue gun holder. And that's the cutest thing ever. This is so cute. So, so cute. Somebody asked me, do I sell my projects? I thought about having an auction, y'all, because this is overrunning my studio, as y'all can imagine. I have stuff everywhere. Okay, let us let you know what I get it out with. Because, yeah, it's this, it's this ink. <laughs> so, let's see what it says. It says it's waterproof. <laughs> That's all it says. It says waterproof, acid-free, all that stuff. So we'll see. But look how pretty this is. It's so pretty. It's just that little bit of subtleness enough. And I'm kind of kind of thinking I need to do something to the edges of it, but I don't know. Sometimes I have to stop and not do it all, but now I'm just kind of thinking I need to do something to the edge. So this is the same gray. Oh, y'all, my sinuses are driving me crazy all of a sudden. Okay, so I'm thinking I need to just, it's already got some marks like this on the board before I started, but I'm thinking I just need to enhance that a little bit. So I'm just taking this chip brush with a little bit of this gray paint and just kind of making the edges more pronounced. <sighs> oh, goodness. Okay. There. That looks better. <sighs> See, I just kind of... Just kind of defines the edge a little bit. Dawn dish detergent. Okay. So, yes, that looks so much better. Look how pretty that is. He just, he just finishes it off so perfectly. A ladybug or a button, B button. Yes, hand sanitizer takes the Sharpie out. Yeah, because it's alcohol. 
So I'm going to try to get some alcohol. It's not bad though, y'all. Isn't this pretty? Don't you love those? I just love this vintage looking muted. They're just muted. But see how pretty this is? You could definitely put a bow or something on it. But I think I'm going to leave it just like this. Look at this. It's so pretty. And I just got these flowers at Dollar Tree. So I know y'all probably can find them. But um, don't forget to go in the um, group and get your printable. And you can do this any way you want to. You don't have to do it gray. You can paint a blue or a pink watering can or a yellow one, however you want to do it. Um, I know you can't even tell it's tissue paper. I mean, if you look really close, it just looks like it was printed on the board. That's all. And with a little paint that you already have and you can make water it down and make it look like watercolor, it just gives it that galvanized look like an old tin watering can. It's so stinking pretty. Yeah, try it on canvas and see how it works. I don't see that it would be a problem on canvas. You could do a reverse canvas and take the frame out and do it that way. Or you could take uh, paint sticks and make you a surface. Whatever you want to do it on. Do it on whatever you want to. Thank y'all. Y'all are so sweet. And don't forget, if I called your name to message me, that would be Gail Winfield and Carol Dickerson. And I will send out that happy mail tomorrow before I leave. Um, thank you, Rhonda. I know it is. It's so pretty. And just the subtle. I've been on this bunny kick for a while, because as y'all can see, my bunnies are, are multiplying. Yeah, beads on this rope would be super cute. Um, take this one off and then do another one. You could put the half round beads all the way around it, make a frame. So cute. Thank you, Corby. Thank you, Gwen. So, and I am going to miss y'all, but I'm going to, I'll still be posting every day and I'll still be taking pictures and sending y'all pictures and showing you what we're doing. Um, I will, I'm going to try to go live at some point, like show y'all the boat or the ocean or whatever. So, I'm not going to forget about y'all. I'm going to take y'all with me on the cruise, and I'm going to show y'all my ducks. When the ducks come, I'm going to show y'all my little ducks that I'm going to hide on the boat for people to find. And y'all, I'm going to put my elbow right down in that paint if I don't move it. Um, thank y'all. Yes, we're going to have a great trip. I cannot wait. Chase has never been on one. He's going to be so, so just overwhelmed at how big it is and how everything is so much fun. Cindy, yeah, I think you could do it printed on paper. I think it would be fine. And that's why I tried it earlier today. Here's my tester. Because I had it smaller. And here's the, here's the tester one I did on a piece of cardboard. And it works just fine on the cardboard. I painted it white. Put my tissue paper on it. Because I wanted to see how the, pa the paint and the water would react to the tissue paper. And it works just fine. Hey, Susanna. That's my niece. Yes, we're going to have fun. I'm going to miss my doggies, though, but we got a lady coming to see it, and she's going to she's gonna be with my babies, so they'll have somebody to sleep with at night. God love them. Thank y'all so very much. Thank y'all for hopping on, and I hope y'all give this a try because this is so, so pretty. Wouldn't this be pretty for Mother's Day? Um, you could do whatever, however you want it. Penny, we're going to be on the Carnival Valor. That's the ship I'll be on. And I hope I see somebody that watches. I, I really do. I, if, I mean, I hope somebody recognizes me and says, hey, I watch you. I mean, I would just be thrilled to death um, if I see somebody that I know or that knows me. It would be so great. Crazy. It would be so exciting. Yay. Thank y'all. Thank you, Tina and Sue. All right, guys. Well, I am going to hop off. I sure hope y'all try this. It's super, super cute. Um, I mean, it's just pretty to me. So anyway, I'm super proud of it. <laughs> so y'all have a good rest of the week. Uh, Muriel, I have a Yorkie and I have an Australian Terrier, which looks like a stocky Yorkie. They're my babies. Yes, I, I hope the weather's pretty too. I'm sure it will be gotta be warmer. <laughs> so anyway, love y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for supporting me and coming on and watching and chatting and crafting and all the fun things. Go get your printable in the group.
Um, if you're not in the group, you can go join. We'll approve you. Just give us some time to put, approve you in the group. And you can definitely uh, get this little watering can. And then you can put your little flowers on it and make your own little panel with a little butterfly. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see y'all later. Um, I'll see y'all sometime on my cruise. Bye, guys. Love y'all.